So we're here right by Hyde Park in the middle of London for a very special event. We're about to have the naming of the teams for this year's Chesterton's Polo in the Park. And I'm here with the creator, the owner, the managing director of City Events, who of course run this wonderful event. Good to see you again. Well, we're hoping we started five years ago. Well, it's now year six with six and a half thousand people. Last year we had 24 and a half thousand Londoners come down and support the event. So it is the largest now three-day polo tournament anywhere in the world and it's slap bang right in the middle of Fulham. So if you're a young single guy in London, on that weekend we have the largest concentration of attractive, hot, professional, outgoing, well-dressed, well-heeled women of any event in London. You're really selling it to me, I'll tell you that much. It's a, great, it's a great thing to go and do. You, know, you stand up on the Saturday on the Ladies' Day and you look out over the view of 12,000 people enjoying themselves and it's, it's a wonderful thing to be part of. We have the PIMS bus coming again. They almost actually going to mothboard it, so we're delighted that PIMS comes down. We have the, uh, the champagne table and then um, we also have the, the Mahiki coconut bar. And this year we've gone for double-decker structures, so we've actually been able to increase the capacity of that area from 1,800 to almost three, three and a half thousand people to come down and enjoy sit with their friends, watch a bit of polo, be with their mates and take in the good weather. We have six teams playing, all three teams are playing on all three days, we've managed to squeeze an extra game on the Sunday given that the grounds are improving and it continues to be just a great way for you to get really close and tight to the action that you can't do at any other polo event. It's fast, it's dynamic and it is just really something that you can get behind. Let's hope the sun shines again. I hope so, we're looking forward to seeing you there. Thanks a lot. So I'm here with Jamie Morrison, who is the four times winner of the Chesterton Polo in the Park competition. Which team are you most afraid of meeting? I think all the teams are generally very strong, so you have to be at your best to beat all of them. If I, if I had to pick one, probably Team London, I think they'll have a lot of support. And I played with a couple of the guys two years ago, we won it, and they're very strong, so they'll be a tough one to beat. You know, the other teams are probably listening to that going, well, you know, thanks for not picking us and <laughs> try and get us when we get there. So they're all as good, they're all very strong, but probably those guys. You still think you're going to win it this year? Well, I mean, I'll give it, I'll, we'll give it our best shot. We've, we won it, we've got the same team as won it last year, so hopefully we can pull out the bag again and, and go the whole way. So I'm here with George Merrick from Team London and this of course is the arch nemesis of a gentleman we were chatting to earlier, Mr Jamie Morrison. George, it's great to be, uh, to be chatting to you again because we chatted to you last year at the event. Sure, it's where we spoke last year. And you, uh, you did a great job last year, you got through all the way through near to the end. Uh, yeah, no, we di didn't win it unfortunately, uh, so hopefully we'll have a better luck this year. You're back, you're back for revenge, are you? Uh, definitely, yes. Uh, now Jamie mentioned that he was most concerned about facing up to you at some point in the competition is that kind of do you feel the same way I was actually chatting to someone before saying that the one person I didn't want to play against was Jamie and then typically it's our first game against him so yeah no he's a great player he, he knows how to play this kind of polo he's played it I think five years maybe um, and he's very good at it so he's gonna be tough the, the rules are slightly different aren't they in the way the game runs it's a, a kind of shortened version almost like the rugby sevens of polo this isn't it yeah exactly I mean that's a good good comparison really it's um, it's designed to be more crowd friendly get the crowd more involved um, so it's uh, three aside as opposed to four uh, smaller field and uh, yeah it, ma it makes it I think it makes it a lot more entertaining to watch what an absolutely fantastic event to look forward to. So on the 6th to the 8th of June, whatever you're doing, drop it and head into London for the Chesterton Polo in the Park. Three days of amazing fun in the sun. Don't forget, it's Chuck a Friday. Saturday's going to be Ladies' Day. 62% of the people that come are ladies between 18 to 35. And then Sundays is Family Day. Great chance to come down, get a free helium balloon, do some face painting, enjoy the fun fairs. You'll be watching Keith Maynard at South West London TV. Signing off and jogging on. Get me practice in before I... Whoop. <laughs> I think I pressed it a little bit too quick. <laughs> well, so that thing we spoke about, that happened. <laughs>